back to another video. Today, we got something very exciting. It's another sketchbook tour! Woo! It's been quite a while since I've done a, my last sketchbook tour. Um, I have been taking quite a while to fill this boy in. Um, just purely because the past few months have been so hectic, as uh, all of us know. But yeah, I finally got to the end of this sketchbook and I'm very excited to take you guys on a tour uh, through it with me. So before we get into it, this is a Tricky Wagon sketchbook. Um, I got it months and months ago. It is really, really nice. I love all of Tricky Wagon sketchbooks. This was my second one and I got this really tiny square one. And I don't think I'll go back to a sketchbook this tiny purely because it was just a little bit too inconvenient at times to draw in it. I just feel like I didn't have enough, you know, support to put my hand down and draw in it. I wanted to try out a tiny sketchbook and it didn't exactly work out uh, the way I wanted it to, so it was a nice experience though. Without any further ado, grab a warm drink if you want, get cozy. Okay, let's begin. So first things first, um, oh I actually forgot to fill this in so I'm just going to do that now. Okay. So as you can see I started this sketchbook back on the 9th of May um, of this year so you know it's been quite quite a few months in the making, <laughs> the sketchbook. And as per usual I always write um, my day that I started the sketchbook, the day that I ended the sketchbook just you know for my own personal records. Um, I also stamp all my sketchbooks because I think it looks cute. And this was the first uh, drawing I did in the sketchbook. I, at the time, was very into like using red and blue pencil together, and I still am. Honestly, I think it looks really cute. You get these really beautiful, like, purpley tones at the end. Yeah, very cute. And again, I was experimenting a bit, a bit more with my colored pencils. I guess I just had them out at the time, so I um, did some doodles with them. Um, I did some face studies with my uh, hoo hoo markers um, and some colored pencils. I was trying to get better at markers. I did this one with my markers as well. Um, yeah, just um, trying to improve my markers techniques. Did some male body studies. Again, I'm still working on my human figure, so you know, the grind never stops. And these were some initial sketches for a fan art that I wanted to do. A, I wanted to do a drawing of a Man From U.N.C.L.E. Uh, it's like one of my favorite movies. So I really wanted to do a drawing of it, which I did start digitally. I just haven't finished it yet. So I should probably get back on that. And yet some more sketches, you know, of peril. <laughs> and uh, cowboy. And yeah, just uh, some more sketchy sketchy. Actually, I was drawing boys. How crazy is that? I know. Here, I don't really know what 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 happened. I drew a dinosaur. It, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I drew another um, girl with like my red and blue pencil combo. These were like some little um, studies of maybe an ink painting that I wanted to do. I never actually got to doing it properly. Um, but they were just some sketches of that very inspired by hey Carla, I wanted to mess around with like the lighting and stuff like that uh, And then this were some Initial sketches. Uh, I wanted to make a, another lino stamp for me to stamp my envelopes And also I wanted to make a sticker for packaging um, This is the final result of the Stamp so this is how it ended up looking and I basically just stamped this onto sticker paper and I cut them out And then I used them to package my orders of my shop um, and then I also made this lino print stamp for my envelopes. So this is what I stamp on all of the envelopes and the parcels that I send out. And then I did this drawing. Uh, I was really happy with how it turned out. Uh, it was like, I, I, if I'm remembering correctly, I, it'd been like weeks since I'd drawn when I drew this uh, drawing and I was just like very happy with it. It just kind of brought me back to life, kind of. Um, yeah, this is a sketch of a drawing that I, again, started digitally, never finished it, of um, these two girlfriends. Um, they're, like, just dancing in the middle of the woods, and it was just very romantic and beautiful. And um, this was the sketch that I did for the painting that I ended up doing for the uh, Acer uh, press release uh, for their new um, computer slash display tablet. And so that was just the initial design that I uh, sketched out for it. 
I really enjoyed this drawing I did as well. I don't know, I just think the border looks really retro and that plus like the character, it just looks really cool and retro-y and I, like, I really like it. Yeah, these are just some ideas. By the way, just a disclaimer. Um, this sketchbook has like a lot of like random notes and writing in it, like a lot of writing in it because um, over the past few months I've just been like trying to get all my ideas down on paper even though I haven't been exactly super feeling super creative. Um, I've just been wanting to get all my ideas down on paper so that at a later stage I could actually develop them. So yeah, this was like another idea for a comic that I wanted to do and I actually ended up doing it. Um, like a mini comic for Instagram and stuff like that. Use some more gesture drawings and poses. Um, I actually ended up taking this onto my iPad and painting over it with colors and doing that whole like traditional and digital marrying uh, of the two mediums and it looked pretty cool. Ah, this was another spread from a sketch with me. So there's a video where I sketch this entire spread with you guys. Um, yeah, I'll, this is when I got really into like baroque-ish renaissance paintings as inspiration and I got just really into like classical paintings as inspiration. I drew a lot of like hands from old paintings and like really fancy ladies from like high class wearing a lot of jewelry and stuff. Um, I really really like how this ended up uh, looking. I, I just this specific little doodle sketch I really like. I might turn it into something um, at a later stage, but I do just really like the framing of it and everything. And this actually ended up turning into one of my stickers for my hands holding flower stickers. So yeah, I actually turned that into something more finished. Again, more classical paintings inspired. This one's very much inspired by, uh, I think it's a painting of Athena. It's either Athena or someone else. I honestly can't remember right now, but very, very nice painting uh, that I love very much. And some more gesture drawings, more practicing figures and poses and everything. And more writing. I actually did sketch this one out, this comic out. Um, I haven't like finished uh, it digitally, but it is in the works. It's about productivity guilt and like feeling like I, I have a really big problem with like doing nothing. It's just really weird. So I just thought I'd do a little comic to like, you know, manifest my feelings <laughs> and process them, which is like, I, I just find it really therapeutic. And then I did this drawing, uh, which I actually turned into a watercolor painting. And I did a whole IGTV video of my process of the painting. And you guys seem to really, really enjoy it. So thank you so much. Um, but yeah, I also have it as a print on my shop now, the watercolor painting. So yeah, I, this is the initial sketch for it. Again, some more um, drawings inspired by classical paintings and just port oil portraits from like the 1700s. <laughs> yeah, some more gesture practice. And yeah, here we go. These are the sketches that I did for the Productivity Guilt comic. So yeah, this is just where I started thumbnailing it and like just you know, turning the little bullet points I had into actual drawings. Um, yeah, some more thumbnails. This is actually the first sketch that I did of the little Scooby Squad snap picture selfie thing that I did. It's still one of my favorite drawings from this year. I did another one of Avatar, uh, The Last Airbender, but this was like the initial sketch for it. It's also a print on my shop. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I really enjoyed doing that. And... Um, I keep thinking that I'm skipping pages because this paper is just so thick and amazing. Anyway, yeah, some more drawings inspired by paintings. I really enjoyed doing this. Um, she's very inspired by like a character that I develop later um, that I really, like I don't know if she's an OC. I, I mean, I guess technically she is an OC, but um, yeah, I just haven't like fleshed her out that much yet. And some more doodles and sketches that never actually turned into anything. And this was a very cool little idea for a comic that I had at a coffee shop. Um, and these were just some like initial sketches of the main character, this little mushroom, um, like little fairy looking character. And she's so cute. Look at her. I love her. 
Okay, so here we're getting into me starting to prep for uh, my new shop reopening in September. And uh, so this was all during the summer while I was like planning all the new enamel pins I wanted to make, the new sticker packs, the new prints that I wanted to make, acrylic charms, which may or may not be still in the works, and just some random like jotting down of ideas of what I wanted to do. And yeah, this is how I like you know, manifest my ideas in my brain. I have to jot them down and <laughs> write things down. So yeah, this is just like the initial stages to all of the products that are now on my shop. How exciting. Uh, oh, this was where I wrote down my comic that I actually finished and posted on my Instagram of like all the things that I managed to do during lockdown, all the achievements. This is where I like wrote them down and uh, then I thumbnailed them and turned them into an actual comic. And this was some sketches for a pin. I actually ended up going for something more around this area. Um, yeah, more planning out enamel pins and charms and just sketching things out. Again, more shop planning. I told you there was going to be a lot of writing and just like planning in the sketchbook. Um, mostly as well because I was back home for uh, a while during the summer to see my family since I hadn't seen them in so long because of COVID. And I um, pretty much the whole time I just had this sketchbook with me. So any planning and stuff uh, that required a lot of space and jotting down, I used the sketchbook for it. And here is where I sketched out my self-care sticker pack. This is like where it all started and um, yeah, I'm super, super happy with how they ended up. Uh, these are some sketches of the character that I mentioned earlier. Um, just kind of started, you know, drawing her out. She's like this cosmic being, I don't know. Um, I asked for some name suggestions on my Instagram and you guys recommended Aurora or Comet, which were my two favorite ones. So yeah, I just really like her. She seems really like just quirky and cute. So, uh, this oh, is a plan for a video that I still haven't filmed. This is me actually thumbnailing out the comic about my lockdown achievements. So this is all the thumbnails that I did for it. Um, some more sketching. And oh, this is where I got like a new fountain pen and it was so beautiful and so nice and I was just like trying it out in every little empty space I had in my sketchbook. But yeah, I really like this sketch. It's really cute. And this one too. I'm actually wearing the same headscarf right now today. I look like her. <laughs> and some more sketching, more drawing. As you can see now is where my mental health started to lift up a little bit. I was sketching a lot more, doing a lot more gesture practice and not really relying so much on, you know, the comfortable. Um, and yeah, this is just me again, trying out my fountain pen. I was just writing lyrics of songs that I was listening to at the moment. Just, you know, whatever I was uh, thinking about. Yeah, some more sketches. This is like a little cute skater girl that I started drawing a lot. I have more more drawings of her later on in this sketchbook. Uh, some more drawings from reference from Pinterest. Just, you know, in my hand. Oh, and this is the sketch for the avatar, the uh, Ang Gang, the gang uh, selfie that I did. Um, and it's so, so cute. Also a print on my shop, uh, the final, you know, digital version. And this is finally actually where I started uh, writing down my comic. And this is like the like idea that I ended up running with. I've since like actually written it properly uh, like on, on a Google Doc. Um, so I'm actually writing a comic. How crazy is that? Uh, I still haven't like designed any of the characters or anything, but I'm so, so excited about it. I cannot wait. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm going to blur it out guys because I don't want to like spoil anything, but yeah, just be excited. <laughs> Some more sketching and uh, just random doodles here and there. More drawing from reference. This drawing was from a reference picture of Eric Nam on Pinterest. These are some more Pinterest reference drawings that I did. Um, this is the skater girl from earlier. I did some like more gesture drawing of her and just, just she's so cute, you know? Look at her. Um, these were some doodles for a commission thing that I did that I can't really talk about yet. Um, Again, some more notes for random comics that I want to make. I just, I, don't, I haven't like gotten back into them, but you know, they're there. 
and I know that they're there now, so <laughs> I might go back to them. And yeah, doing some more drawings of, of uh, Aurora slash Comet, just some more sketches, and this cute princess. And yeah, more gesture drawings, and uh, I, I really like this drawing. I did this like after weeks of being really, really severely depressed at the beginning of last month, and I hadn't drawn in weeks, and I one day when I was starting to feel better, I drew this out, and it was like like a breath of fresh air, you know, just feeling like I could draw again and be creative and yeah, so the, this drawing has a lot of like emotional significance to me, I guess, now that I look back at it. Um, these are some sketches for a thing that I did for work, um, it, an animation. I can't show it to you guys, I'm gonna have to blur it for now, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, and yeah, this these were some sketches I did at a coffee shop um, before, you know, uh, Covid got worse again. I actually went to a coffee shop this one time to draw and I was just drawing the the baristas that were there because they were so cute and adorable. Um, so I just kind of drew them. They had really cute outfits and uh, they were so nice and yeah, that was the last time I went to a coffee shop. <gasps> These are some drawings of the boys. Um, their recent comeback, they had such beautiful like uh, teaser images like for press pictures and they were just so gorgeous and like the composition of them were just amazing. I was really drawn to them, so <laughs> drawn to them. <laughs> so I um, I drew a couple of them. This is uh, Joaquino and Q from The Boys. I just did like some quick sketches of their promo pics. More gesture drawings and maybe some practice for characters of my comic. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, this is where I sketched out um, the uh, colored inks painting that I did uh, for for a video a few weeks ago. Um, so yeah, this is the initial sketch for it. I turned it into like a fully finished um, painting using my new colored inks. So if you want to go check that video out. Uh, and this is me planning for Inktober. I actually didn't end up going for any of these prompt lists. This is just me brainstorming. But I ended up going for a completely different prompt list that I found out the day before Inktober started. So classic me. <laughs> This is just some more sketching um, I did up on the roof of my building. I just love going up there and just, you know, drawing whatever comes to mind. Um, yeah, really enjoy that. More sketching of fairies and dragonfly fairies and stuff like that. And um, yeah, this is just, again, more human figure practice. Just, I, f I think this, on this night, I, again, it had been like a week or so since I was able to draw in my free time because of my wrist, you know, my wrist is still a bit flimsy and bad. If you guys saw last week's video, know a little bit more about that. But yeah, my wrist was giving me a lot of trouble, so I wasn't really drawing that much. And then when I, my wrist started feeling better, I kind of went on a spree <laughs> and drew and filled in like 10 pages. But yeah, I did this really cute drawing of a fairy human figure practice, more human figure practice. Um, I did this this uh, drawing with my fountain pen, I think, because it was at hand. And some more human figure practice here. More human figure practice. Oh, more human figure practice. <laughs> oh, look at that, more human figure practice. And yeah, I just kind of went on a roll. I was feeling really inspired to like practice and stuff. And uh, practicing feet, which are like the worst thing to draw if you ask me. I just, I'm really bad at drawing feet. So I just thought I needed the practice. And yeah, some more human figure. And I think that was actually the end of my sketchbook. Um, well, technically the end is this recipe for uh, roast chicken thing that my mom makes. So. <laughs> I don't know why I wrote that in my sketchbook, but that's technically the final thing in my sketchbook. Uh, so yeah, that was pretty much it for my sketchbook tour. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I have already started my new sketchbook, so I won't be, you know, starting it with you guys in this video, unfortunately. But yeah, um, I am currently doing Inktober on and off, so if you want to check out the drawings and, and paintings I'm doing for Inktober, uh, you can check them out on my Instagram. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. 
and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye!